We got the Caesar salad to share. We got the chicken parm to share. The bread, the extra sauce, the two martinis, and uh, some pasta. We shared everything. And they brought us fried ravioli. And we were like, this is wrong. And just we just didn't order it. So like, okay, you put it on the table. We're going to eat it. My friend is like, you know, compliments of the chef because he gave a huge tip at the bar. And he kind of gave a tip with the maitre d' to get us the table right away. And just let's skip all of that stuff, guys. But he thought we were getting this just because he tips so well. Well, it turns out. We, we didn't get it because of that. They made a mistake. And we ate some of the fried raviolis. And then they took them off our table. We're like, can't you just leave it on the table? Like, what are you going to do with these raviolis after they were already on our table? You know, I don't have ADD, despite the fact that I go off on these tangents. Um, we go to Dantana's. It's just a classic Hollywood Sunset Boulevard scene. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, really Sutton... So I'm suffering from exhaustion too, Sutton's track. I'm suffering from it. I'm suffering from a little dehydration too, not bronchitis. So kind of convenient. I think it's funny that Kathy said I was going to go after her next. This is the thing about this reunion. Let's go back to the beginning. Nothing burger. Does anyone else out there listening to this? And, and pop off in the comments below. Does anyone else out there listening to this, would you have loved to have seen Kathy Hilton versus Sutton Strack? That is what we are paying the money for. That's the finale. That's what I want to see. Sutton, I like you, girl. You have a big mouth against Kyle. You have a big mouth against Doreen. I think the answer would have been Sutton about who's the most afraid of Kathy. I think Sutton Strack loves her, loves her status here. I mean, 300000 a month in alimony. Sutton could hold her own. I love this show. It's a good show. I really do like it. You know, I just, I can't help it. I love watching really rich people on TV. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I ain't making no 300000 a month on this podcast. I hate to break it to everyone. Oh, I wish I was. I'd be here forever. Um, that would have been great. So Kathy saying that, I'm like, you're like putting a, putting a stake through my heart here. You know what I mean? Because... That's what I want to see. So convenient. It did happen. There were medics, but good time in Sutton Girl. And we never got the answer from Erica about who's the most afraid. I mean, Kyle's not. Crystal's the real deal. You might think she's boring, whatever. Crystal is has a real life in Beverly Hills in the real circles. Anna Marie has been there for a minute. She doesn't give a fuck. Garcelle is a working actress. I don't think she really gets into like caring about what party there is. You know, she's working. I mean, Erica doesn't give a fuck. Kathy even said, you don't give a fuck. So I think the answer would have been by default, A, Sutton Strack, B, Adorit, Miss Kemsley. Miss Kemsley loves it. You know, yeah. You know, they say Kyle's a punisher. She's punishing Dorit for speaking up against, um, against you know, Kyle, against Kyle coming to Kathy's aid last season. Dorit alluded the other episode that she's a punisher. You know, who's also a punisher, just random thought. The Sarge, my ex-friend, Marge, Marge the Sarge. She likes to punish that March. It's so funny. Her name came up last night because my friend Michael knows Mart Sr. They're good friends from way back. Hi, Mart Senior. I like Mart Senior, but the Sarge is not happy with me because uh, I don't kiss her ass and uh, I'm not on the take like other podcasts out there. So the Sarge has tossed me aside. It's mutual, girl, but I love you. You're good, Jackie Judas Goldschneider. It's a good line, Margaret. I got I mean, you know, I lied. I have nothing against my Marge. I have nothing against any of these people. I don't give a fuck. Um, Erica doesn't care. So yeah, I think Dorit cares. I think Dorit cares. Um, Dorit girl, we went to the same high school. You're a girl from Connecticut. Look, we both made something of ourselves, but you're not Crystal. You're not Kathy. You want into the secret society and you've done well for yourself, girl. But yeah, 
So that's who I think the answer would have been. But Sutton too, and I don't know. I don't like that they weren't there. I don't like it. Like even later on when we, you know, we're talking about Morgan and Kyle and Mauricio and what's really going on. They needed to be there for this discussion. It really was, ugh, I didn't I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I really didn't like that they were not there. Okay. Couldn't they just follow them to the hospital and have them weigh in? I mean, bronchitis. I know it was scary. Look, I've never been in an ambulance. I'm all alone in the world. Although I seem to have a lot of friends. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I mean, it's one of my fears of just like falling or just waking up and having something major happen and I'm all alone and I would have to call 911. They would have to go past my doorman. This is how sick my mind is. And that would be embarrassing. But I mean, would I really care? Because I'd be in an ambulance. And so I get it. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough life. So I, I get it. I get it. Dorit, again, she's just sitting there while we're talking about all this. I don't know. I don't think it looks great for her, but I could see everyone coming back. I do think Kathy makes things happen. I do think she's Beverly Hills. We get into Rinna. We get into Rinna and the flowers. And, you know, like a lady, Kathy doesn't really want to talk about it. You know, I mean, say what you want. But I just want to, like, rip through all of this. I mean, look, Rinna talks a good game. But to me, to me, it's just like the dust is settled you're in Hollywood. You're not losing jobs. You're front row at everything in Paris. Your daughters, first of all, Rena's daughters could get her into things at this point. You did well. You 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 passed it on to the second generation. And I just view these flowers. She sent Kathy whatever that card said. I mean, it sounds like you're groveling and uh, you just want to make sure as Erica, I think this proves Erica's point. Doesn't this prove Erica's point? Kathy is just, you know, you want her on your good side. So Rinna is no dummy. Before it goes too far, I think Rinna sent those flowers and is like, you know, let's just don't have me on your enemy list. Find someone else. Now it comes up, the agency, the book that Mauricio wrote a book. We all know Mauricio wrote a book because he went on a book tour, that Mauricio. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. And then we get into the agency. I mean, this is why I love Kathy, because she's she is honest. She'll just talk about whatever. Kyle knows the game, and Kyle is like, I don't want to go there, okay? Like, why are we reliving this? You know, Mauricio said in the book, if he was paid what he deserved, he never would have left. Kathy said he gave notice.